Hello there and welcome to Inquiring Minds. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen review. The Jinhao X50 is the fountain pen that got my Inquiring Minds channel started. I'd used fountain pens when I was in junior and senior high school, but it wasn't until I'd purchased two of these X450s, one for me and one for my wife, from a Facebook advertisement that I became interested in writing with a fountain pen again. That was three years ago, and now I have hundreds of fountain pens and 10,000 subscribers on YouTube, all because of a $4 Chinese fountain pen. I was thoroughly impressed with the inexpensive Jinhao X450 and the other two inexpensive Jinhao models, the X750 and the 159. They were ridiculously inexpensive and wrote like butter on a hot plate. They're like butter. Jinhao has been busy lately releasing a number of new models as well as updating and improving the 159 with the X159, which was my choice for the pen of the year for 2022. And now they've upgraded the 450 with this new X850. As soon as I saw this, I knew I had to grab one and see what they've changed from the classic X450. Let's find out together right now. <laughs> When this new Jinhao came on the market, I snapped it up immediately. The Jinhao X850 uh, seemed to be, it's hard to tell from the photos, but it seemed to be an upgrade of the Jinhao X450. This is the first modern fountain pen um, I purchased and actually got my YouTube channel started uh, three years ago. So very interested to see what's in this package that has arrived today. You see it comes in the deluxe case. Let's push it out, shall we? Here we go. And it sticks right out there. Ah! Ooh. The condoms are getting more expensive. It's actually a resealable condom. That's resealable, not reusable. And there it is. Well, the clip is upgraded. The top finials look the same. New cap band to make it look more like another brand. And the body seems to be a little bit slimmer, but it is a brass pen. Like the X159, I thought it might be a resin version of the X450, but it is enamel brass. We will ink this pen up and put it through its paces. The Jinhao X850. And what I'd like to do today is go over the parts and features of this pen, show some size comparisons, some measurements, and then provide a writing sample. After the writing sample, please stay tuned as I will talk about what I like and what I don't like so much about this fountain pen. As I mentioned in the introduction, the Jinhao X450 was the fountain pen that really launched my YouTube channel in the direction of fountain pens. Although the Jinhao X450 and the X750 are not pens that I've used very much at all over the last three years, they are very influential pen models and are almost the standard for inexpensive Chinese-made fountain pens. They are not only well-built and perform very well, but they are also the go-to fountain pen for those who like to tinker and experiment with nibs, nib grinds, and various types of ink. That's because they come with a standard number six size steel nib that is very easy to swap. They're built like proverbial tanks and stand up to all kinds of abuse. If you're strong enough or clumsy enough to break it, for four bucks you can get another. The downside of the X450, X750 and the 159 as well is that they're all heavy metal pens and they have some particularly ugly furniture. In addition, the X450 has this triangular grip section with the divots 
to remind you where to place your fingers. That pisses many people off. Don't piss me off, Art. Especially people that don't use the classic tripod grip. Before Christmas, Jinhao released the new and improved Jinhao X159, which has taken the pen world by storm. They redesigned the section and instead of making the pen from enamel covered brass, made it out of injection molded plastic, making it much lighter and a wonderful pen in the hand. So when I saw that Jinhao had a new model called the X850, I immediately thought it was an upgrade to either the X450 or the X750 model. It turns out it's the upgrade to the X450 as it still has the remnants of those divots on the triangular grip, but it's not as pronounced as the X450. So let's compare the X450 to the X850 and see what Jinhao has changed. The first thing I noticed was that this is a metal pen. It is the standard enamel paint over brass body that is the same on both the X450 and the X750. I really thought that they might make this one out of injection molded plastic as well, but it is brass. Even though it is brass, it is lighter than the X450. I put them on the scale to see. The X450 weighs in at almost 44 grams, and the X850 weighs in at 38 grams, so about 6 grams lighter. The next most obvious difference is in the clip and the cap band. I never liked the teardrop clip with the three dots on the X50, and the X850 has an understated clip that is a little stiff, but is very usable. Jinhao has also slimmed down the cap band from the wide band with the script that was on the X450, and the Jinhao has the X850 engraved on the back. The pen is much more streamlined and elegant looking and is actually looking very similar to the Sailor 1911 Large. Look at that. The X450 is a snap cap where the 850 unscrews with one and a half turns and we see the newly redesigned section and the same number six size Jinhao steel nib. Let's compare sections here. You can see the section is shorter and has the same tripod divots, but they're shallower and the section doesn't taper quite as much. I think it makes the X850 much more comfortable than the X450. The metal threads at the bottom of the section are very smooth and unobtrusive and actually extend the grip area on the section. There is a single gold metal ring at the top of the section, again giving the pen a more refined look. The nib is the old style steel number no. 6 nib with the Jinhao Chariot, Jinhao, and 18KGP on the bottom. Now that 18KGP is supposed to mean 18 karat gold plated, but I've got some swamp land in Florida if you buy that bullcrap. The manufacture, distribution, packaging, and marketing of bullshit. <laughs> High quality bullshit, world class designer bullshit, to be sure. Hospital tested, clinically proven bullshit, but bullshit nonetheless. But these nibs are very swappable, inexpensive, easy to obtain, so they are great for experimenting with grinding if you're up for some tinkering. The nib and the feed are friction fit, so there's no unscrewable collar here. The section unscrews to reveal the included cartridge converter which is branded Jinhao, and it has a 2.6 millimeter bore and will accept Jinhao compatible cartridges. The nozzle on the section is made of metal, which meshes with the metal barrel threads, which is an improvement over the X450, which had a plastic nozzle. And there's a silicone O-ring right there that keeps the barrel from unscrewing while you use the pen. The inside of the cap shows a black plastic cap liner to seal the nib from evaporation. The cap posts deeply and securely and is a great improvement over the X450, which will post, but it doesn't stay on. The cap on the X850 is heavy, so it does back weight that pen a little bit, but it is very comfortable to write with posted and it's plenty long enough to write with unposted as well. I bought this pen on Sally's Easy Buy on Etsy for $16.80. Now that's more than the X450, but I feel the improvements with the X850 are well worth the extra $13. And it comes with EF, F, M, and bent nib options. 
Now let's look at some size comparisons. And here is the Jinhao X850 with a Jinhao X159, a Jinhao X450, a Sailor 1911 Large, and the new Jinhao 82. Now let's look at the posted. And here they are posted. The X159 has a number eight size steel nib and the Sailor 1911 Large has a 21 karat gold number six size nib. And the Jinhao 82, this is a number five size steel nib and all five pens post, uh, but only the X450 doesn't post securely. You can't hold that pen without it, the cap falling off. Now let's look at them unposted. And here they are unposted. Only the Jinhao 82 here might be a bit short unposted. And you'll see this pen in an upcoming review. Now let's look at some measurements and I'll be back with a writing sample. And we're back with the writing portion of the review. This is Claire Fontaine 90 GSM paper. And this is the Jinhao X850. And it has a medium number six size steel nib. Let's check the wetness. It's a nicely, nicely wet, juicy nib. And the nib is super buttery smooth. Just a hint of feedback. Very, very nice. And the ink today is Dimene. Arctic Blast, which is one of the Diamine 2022 ink vent colors, and it is a sheening and shimmering ink. Here is the bottle that uh, comes from the ink vent calendar, and it's in my Inquiring Minds Ink Buddy 3D printed caddy. I made this to hold the ink vent uh, calendar bottles uh, from tipping over. And you can buy these ink buddies on my son's Etsy store, Allied Armors, which I'll link in the description. And here is the swatch I did for my ink vent calendar video. And it shows how many colors there are in this ink. It has a base, which is a light teal blue. And then the sheen is a hot pink, magenta kind of color, which blends with the teal blue, making the overall look of the ink come out like a, a deep purple blue. And it has a silver blue silver shimmer to it as well and as to some line variation well you can squeeze a little bit of variation out of this nib uh, but it's fairly stiff this nib makes a 0 0.5 millimeter line which is a western fine or a japanese fine to medium on my Richard Binder line width chart which you can also find linked in the description and for our quote and for some reverse writing well this is one of the best reverse writers I've had in a while. It's thinner, a little bit drier, skips a little bit, but it actually writes and it's very smooth. So for you sketchers out there that like to flip your nib over to get uh, a thinner line for cross hatching and things like that, this is a very nice pen. And for some quick writing. Yeah, this feed keeps up very, very nicely. It's a very juicy pen. So what do I like and what do I not like about this fountain pen? Well, the X450 has been the go-to fountain pen for tinkerers, grinders, and ink experimenters for years. At four bucks, 
and in a variety of different colors and patterns, it's also a nice inexpensive option for gifting those to whom you wish to penable. You can give them out as Christmas gifts, birthday gifts, graduation, or even as party favors if you wish to whip out your fountain pen fanaticism on your friends, family, and neighbors. But they've always been a bit clunky and awkward. Uh, they're on the heavy side at 44 grams, but they look chunky and inelegant. But with the X850, Jin Hao has brought the X450 into the mainstream. This is now a serious everyday carry option for pen lovers. Jin Hao has improved almost everything. It's lighter, it posts better, it has a nicer grip section, and is much improved overall with a more elegant clip. And it looks very respectable next to the Sailor 1911 Large. And if you're squeamish about using a pen that is a cheap copy of a Mont Blanc 146, you would needn't fret. The Jinhao X50 is much less of a knockoff than the Sailor 1911 Large. And it's about $375 cheaper than the Sailor as well. I'm only seeing this pen in black with gold trim at the moment, but I expect that will change as the model takes off. Perhaps we'll see the finishes from the X450 and X750 models appear on the X850. Just the other day, I saw this new listing on Sally's Easy Buy Etsy shop. It's a Jin Hao X350. It looks very similar to the X850, but has the number 5 size nib, and the section doesn't have the divots. I'm wondering if we'll soon see an X950 upgrade of the Jin Hao X750, perhaps. So a little editorial insert here. I've just purchased this Jin Hao X350 after Alan Roy Brammer posted this photo on Goulet Pen's Facebook page. I thought the pen was a number 5 size nib, but it is, in fact, a number 6. And the photo shows the pen next to a Pilot Custom 74. So this could be the X750 upgrade after all. Jin Hao, Hong Jin, and Moon Man seem to be kicking things into high gear with new model offerings. Something to look forward to. And there you have it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And please look in the description for a link to Goldspot Pens, as I'm now an affiliate of the online store. And when you shop at Goldspot using my link, you'll be supporting my channel as well at no extra charge to you. You can also join as a member of my channel for only 99 cents a month, and I guarantee I'll answer your comments in the comment section, and you'll get cool emojis, badges, and sneak peek unboxing videos as well. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you. for watching and that's all she wrote I made this <laughs>